guys, Alan from Hack Gadgets here. Okay, so we did a previous video where we showed the operation of uh, this device here. It's the uh, Black & Decker Grip. Uh, this is the one where it's a handheld screwdriver where as you turn it, it sort of senses uh, the direction and it gives you, uh, you know, increased revolutions based or increased RPM based on on how much you've, you've twisted it and it's it's operational in any direction you know you can do it this way up down uh, sideways whatever you want so let's crack this open and see what sort of technology is on the inside of this thing let's uh, take it to the bench okay so here it is it's a uh, solid plastic on the back plastic here rubberized on the side single button here Let's just take out the tip here. Okay, and I have a uh, Phillips screwdriver here. And I can see there's one, two, three, four, five uh, visible Phillips screws. I'm, I'm really happy they used Phillips and, uh, you know, not like a triangular bit or, you know, something, something else that they could have. Um, you know, obviously it doesn't really matter. You can get all of those security bits anyway, but... Uh, it's uh, what's going on here? It's nice that they uh, that they're not preventing you from getting inside the inside you know your own tool that you bought. Okay. Okay, let's see. Um, hmm, should we be paying a bit more attention here? It looks like some of these screws are actually a different size, so. Are they? Yes. So, make a note if you're taking yours apart at home. Um, there is two small ones and two longer ones, so we'll have to do a little bit of trial and error or maybe take a look at the video here when I put it back together. Okay, so let's see if this thing just pries apart. Now obviously it's, you know, it's still on. There's, there is no way of, uh, of disconnecting the battery before I start doing this. Okay, here we go. Okay, so we've cracked it a little bit. I can see on the inside there, there's a circuit board right there. There's a battery and there's a motor in here. So it looks like we'll have to cut this sticker. Let me get a knife. Okay, I'm just gonna cut this sticker here. Okay, something is still holding it at the back here. Let me get a prying tool. Okay, couldn't find my uh, metal spudger, but uh, a little screwdriver did the trick. It was just hanging up on some plastic there. Okay, so this thing is all loose now. Let's carefully take off the shell. Okay, so the, the non-Black & Decker marked off in one piece. Okay, and here is the guts. So in the back here you can see there's a few springs that are used to uh, spring this. And on the inside here you can see there is the, the switch. I'm going to be careful because this is obviously live electronics. There's the push-button switch that gets when uh, 
this is activated. Okay, there's the battery charge connector. Nicely heat shrunk wires. And there's the battery connection there. So it's a single cell battery. And there's the motor down here with obviously the gearbox. And then you can see the wiring for, there's the light right in the front here. So there's the wiring running down. Oh, this is quite magnetic. There's the wiring running down here for the light. Okay, so let's carefully take this apart. There's the spring unit. Now, of course, uh, let's see. Okay, I'm going to pause this and disconnect this battery lead here. Okay, disconnected the battery lead. And uh, everything else, this uh, basically was just uh, popped in here. That's the battery. And then this was uh, easy to take out also. With all the screws removed, basically everything just uh, is easy to come out. The circuit board is actually, it's just press fits into this groove here um, but it was in there pretty good had to get a screwdriver down to the bottom of the PC board and of course there's a lot of surface mount electronics on here so um, had to be quite delicate okay so here's the disconnected uh, battery lead here so um, even if I push this button now we are disconnected okay so let's have a look at this board here So there's quite a bit of surface mount stuff on here. There's the main button. Right there. Nothing really special. There's a coil here. And obviously looks like a processor. Let's see which way the writing is on there. Okay, it's an Atmel processor. Let's see if we can get a good close-up on that. Okay, I'll take some high-res pictures and post them on Hacked Gadgets uh, when this is up. So it looks like just a lot of transistors and other discrete components. Okay, what do we have on the back? So wiring is is all very um, shallow, which is uh, sort of required for a package that's this tight, um, or very very short, I should say. So here's the LED connection. So it's uh, it is unpluggable, uh, which is quite nice. Um, obviously, they didn't have to do that, but I guess they they wanted to do that for serviceability, probably. Even though this is a very inexpensive component or, or device, I guess if they want to repair this module at some point in the future, uh, being able to unplug things without having to unsolder things is quite nice. Okay, so here's the back of the board. I have a small device here. Let's see what that is. That might be the actual um, velocity sensor. So we can get close up on that. And if we can't see it in this video, I will uh, take some high res pictures of it. It's a very tiny font. I can't even see what it says uh, by the naked eye. Okay, and then we have some other devices down here. I'm assuming um, this is probably charging circuit. Well, based on where the where the battery leads come in. This is probably a charging circuit down here. Um, you know, maybe this is a charge controller. I'm guessing here, but we'll uh, we'll take some pictures and we'll take a closer look. So very nice construction on this board, I gotta say. Um, the motor is a 3.6 volt motor. It's a Lishi motor. Never heard of that before. And. I don't think the gearbox comes out. I don't really want to pull that out because that's probably press fit into uh, into this plastic housing. I'm, I'm imagining. 
So that's about it. That's, uh, I think, as far down as we can bring it. I'll take some pictures of this and uh, post them on the site.